it is not Bhagavad Gita which is important. You should know the context in which it was written. Correct? I got some few points when I listened to it. I reminded them. Yeah. This is one great point. I got Bhagavad Gita at least two, three times, but I never got that point. So sometimes the context in which we are there, we are not able to understand. That makes us really bad. All of us have a purpose. So Arjuna had a purpose for his birth. It was not. Did he came to the war field without knowing the opponents or his relatives? He knew previous day also, right? So having come to the war field, what you should do? Fight. That's it. You can decide whether you want to register for examination or not. But having gone to exam, or what you should do? Huh? Right exam. So that's the only place where you can have it. Huh? You know, exam is a big war between you and the teachers. <laughs> Throughout life, teachers give notes, you have to read. There is one chance for you to write note and ask your teacher, read this. The return punishment goes there, goes to them, right? I have a beautiful session on how to prepare for exams. How to be a winner, study, uh, read, Dr. GPS, exam, study. Then you will get a block in which 30 points to students, 20 points to parents and teachers. How to prepare for exams. I love examination halls. Because I consider what am I doing in the exam hall? Check whether I'm I attend interviews because it's the best method to argue with. Whether you get job or not, that's a different matter. You enjoy. I remember going to UGC Academy Staff College Director's Post. Three vice chancellors were interviewing me. So I was in the space department. Why did you come to university? Because university paid us. Space department gives much better salary. Because it's central government. Our facilities are much better. Especially the space department is one of the most interesting. So I came to a lower scale salary. So the questions were asked, why did you come for a lower salary? I said, I didn't come for job. I didn't come for salary. I came for interview. So when you go for interview, doesn't mean you will join, right? Only when they offer, we will check whether to join or not. That's a later decision. So what attracts you in the interviews? I am seeing three Vice Chancellor is in front of me for half an hour. Will you be able to call three Vice Chancellor at your home for half an hour discussion? So what you should do? You should go to the interview so that three Vice Chancellors are in front of you, free of cost. <laughs> you understood? So meeting great personality for a Kshatriya, for me, it's an academic war. Understood? So what I did? I know what these people can ask. So how to prepare for interview? You should guess all the questions. And prepare answer. Oh, how did I prepare? I prepared a lot of notes like this. You ask me a question? Yeah. This is the answer for you. <laughs> how did I know what you are going to ask? So what I did? Prepared everything, printed is available, five copies are there, all of you can read parallelly. And some questions I have a big answer, 13 page answer. One document is there. Take it. How do you know? We know what is going to happen. Where is success? If you get 100% in your examinations, only when you can predict all the questions what they are. Should I have to complete the sentence or you know the sentence? You understood? That's why I prepare children. I prepare children for examination saying that, yes. What could be? This is the tactics in the war. If I know how the other fellow is going to be, I was part of government of India. My job was deputy director. Right? She told, but nobody listened. No, the another job was also told. Five hundred rupees. Don't tell anyone. If anybody can tell what was that she told, deputy director in which department? Security. <laughs> Director General of Security, full. 
Did you ask what does that mean? That is raw. What is raw? I was deputy director in raw. I was police man. Deputy director in raw is a police job, right? Combined to different services and police together is called that. There is no barrier between department of defense and home ministry when it comes to prime minister. There is another police under prime minister. That's called SP. Right? So I was deputy director. So what is that we do? We have an analysis department called strategic analysis. So what is strategic analysis? How we should know how the neighboring countries are. I know more about neighboring countries than India because that was my job. So we do spying. Look from the satellite. That's why a space department became a raw person. From the space, look at what is happening in the. I know every culvert in the Pakistan. I can tell this now because I left for 12 years. Otherwise, I would have been arrested. Publicly, I am not supposed to tell, but I am 12 years out from the department, so I am free. Coding period is seven years. So I know every bit of land is there, and many people know it. We we spy from the space. Strategy. How do we trail our military people there? Video games. All of you have seen video games, right? Cheaply available, free available. Is it that the computer scientist, computer scientist from America, not a small institute, MIT, a PG like yours cost three crores rupees, and full free for Russia. That's a merit. What is? A computer scientist does lot of job to create a small video game. Do you think it is made for you to play? It's soccer military, and the, some waste is given for video games. The original action is: Have you seen somebody can go inside the house and then tsh 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 tsh? It must be some place in some war in some country, some point of time. So this is how. Train our army fellows. So what are we doing? We are looking into somebody's. You know what? Where I am driving you? War it is. You do it in your neighbor's house. Is it ethics? Huh? Eh? But when we a country does to another country, yeah, <laughs> correct. Indian embassy can hold the people there. There is a military attaché there. A military fellow is posted in every embassy in the other country. It's called a military attaché. Every country has got such designation is given. A military fellow is posted. Pakistan military fellow is also there in Delhi with the commissioner's office. That is ethics. So what is ethics now? What is politics now? What is ethics now? Okay, I keep asking a question. At the border, there is a soldier who is fighting with another country. Is that other person who is standing in front of him has done such any crime to this fellow? So why am I killing him? Can he say that no? We are good friends. We are not. <laughs> eh? Okay, assume that in the war front, somebody kills the other fellow, and He comes back to Silguri. What will happen? Silguri MP will come, MLA will come, collector will come, ministers will come, DD will come, and then what they will do? <laughs> It'll be honoured grave, right? For what? Killing an innocent fellow in the other country. Is it correct? I'm seeing this and this also. So some people agree, some people don't agree. It's most confusing. That is because ethics is confusing. There is no single definition that says this is what. No. What is good in here will not be good in some other place. Right? Assume that that fellow happens to be from a small village from nearby Silpuri. And the whole village people comes there is a drunkard here. He beats every day. Not necessary. Bengal is the other way. 
Yes. Girl beats boys or boys beats girls? Not <laughs> drinking. Who drinks vodka? I don't know. It also depends on culture, right? So suppose there is a fight and then he asks the soldier, kill that fellow. He is the most you. Everybody in the village says this person is useless. Kill him. And assume with all the courage, the soldier smashes it. What will happen? Police will come and then ask him, right? Previous day he was given all the awards, rewards, honor. Everything star is given, but what happened today? So it is not action which matters. Where, when, why, how, for whom, in front of whom, who does it matters? So ethics is the most confusing probably thing in the world. That is why Mahabharata war in our context, in our scenario, in our views, we cannot say, oh, war was required. Is it right? Is it just? Should it have happened like this or not? No idea. Because we are not in that time and space. It matters. Time and space matters. It changes from place to place. It changes from country to country. But you can see a lot of similarity between the Indian epics. Where does this Mahabharata, Ramayana belongs to? That's not Veda. It's not knowledge. Veda is not a right. And that's called the Idhihasa Puranas. Idhihasa Puranas are only stories. Bharatiya Deva Sangalpa. What is it called? Eh? Sangalpa. You know, understand what is Sangalpa? Sangalpa means my creativity, my imagination, poetical aspect. And you will see in most of the literature in classrooms, in your syllabus, it says 5000 years, 3000 years. Don't believe all this. The greatest historians in the West. One of the biggest mistakes they have done is they have created a timeline and then said everything in this world happened between 5000 years to this time. Because they don't want the heritage of India that old so that India is considered as greatest of all. So they have rewritten the whole history. There are a lot of libraries in which we had, I was part of one of the group who does research on this. Geopolitics. The subject is called geopolitics. And we had a website nearly 22 years back, Mirror India. And we are coming back now after 22 years. Again, for we have a group of counterpart works in Canada and America. Last week also we had a meeting. We are trying to create a Samudha Bharata concept, a youth formation program. There are so many parallel programs now happening. You will see the India will start. With all that energy back into power. One of the country, we have got a lot of history in the world, Mesopotamia, then Babylonia. We don't know where to place this in the map also now. Because we have to ask for what is the present name, correct? Except in India. Why India stays? As long as the world exists, India probably name would have changed from Bharat to India. So we are trying to create the Name back, Bharat. So when you say this, India, the Bharat had a great tradition. Another country which probably close to the tradition is only Greek. So you will see a lot of relationship between India and the Greek in terms of in terms of many, many, many belief systems. Probably not culture. Culture keeps changing. But belief systems yeah, probably one of the most closest. That's why when we take always the philosopher's name from Greek and then you learn Greek. Correct? Do you know where it started from? That's where I am coming. Bharatiya war tradition. Which is the first war fort probably in India other than the Deva, Asura. All god goddesses carry a lot of weapons. You know this, right? Eh? Where do they carry weapons? 
which god doesn't have a contract in some form they don't have but there will be another statue with a greater weapon and who has maximum weapons kali devi yeah look everybody dashamaha vidya all the 10 forms you read it's all different forms and different names there are 56 different names of devis with all the first letter in our indian alphabets in each phrase it may be different and the last one is chinnamatta you know what chinnamatta head is cut and when head is cut the two blood oozing out and the two people will you are closest to people only will get that your sama the ego is suffered not by you or enjoyed not by you but others also right i when i say i we cannot say i like this we can say i like this So the head is up. So if you cut your head, ego is gone. So Chinnan Mata is a beautiful concept of cutting your ego. So each sankalpa I have interpreted in terms of the psychology within each one of us, the philosophy within each one of us, and there is a tantra shastra related to that. I also learned that that Kerala is very good in tantra shastra. Tantra shastra is the puja. It belongs to the tradition of. Brahmasri K P C Arjun Patali Pad. He was the guru for Maharshi Mahayogi in Tantra Shastra. And my guru and Maharshi Mahayogi's gurus are same. So there is a lot of weapon with every god and goddess. Why? Right? Even Veda says you can give advice to people. Nice philosophy. Philosophy is not this. You have to behave like this. You should do it. But people don't listen sometimes. So what should come out? The real good guy should come out. Agrasth chaduro veda. Four vedas. Agrasth chaduro veda. In the front, all the four vedas should come. Prista jasya shramdano. Keep your weapons behind. Every god, goddesses, you can see one hand like this, and another hand dish dish. <laughs> And one of the best one is with the the great philosopher. Who is the great philosopher? The greatest philosopher in the world, Krishna. What a beautiful man! He says, "Don't think about me. You do what you want. Don't worry. I'll come and save you at the last moment." Bhagavad Gita. If you don't read, very difficult. If this sloka by sloka, I have given explanation. Full slokas, Doctor T P S. You will get in YouTube. Chapter endings, brief of chapters. Another playlist is there. Special slokas, important slokas. Another playlist. Some three four playlists are there. My last session was for United Nations N G O Yoga Committee. From New York they were hosting. A few chapters I did there also. So what Krishna says? Don't think about me now. What you should think about me only at the Last moment. Do you know when is your last moment? Anybody knows when is your last moment? So what is Krishna saying? Kya chalu hai? Correct. Think about me only the last moment. So what you should do? Think about me all the time. Then I will say that's what he says. I am not quoting sloka, frustrating myself not to. It is easier to quote sloka and then explain, but then it takes longer time. Anta kaal echa. This sloka is important. Anta kaal echa mana says mare. Anta kaal echa. The cha is everybody. What is cha means? First moment. So what you should do? Think about me all the time. Then I will say. That's what he says. I am not quoting sloka. Frustrating myself not to. It is easier to quote sloka and then explain, but then it takes longer time. Anta kaal echa. This sloka is important. Anta kaal echa mana says mare. Anta kaal echa. The cha is everybody. What is cha means in Sanskrit? And. Anta kaal e 
No, many people will translate it. Last moment you think about me. No, Krishna, Vyasa is much more greater because it's his advisor. No? He put it Antaka Lecha. Last moment also you think about me, then I will say. So, what is that all of us want? All of us want moksha. How do you get a moksha? What is, what is the biggest program all of us have? Or what is that Mahabharata says? Why two people had fighting? They studied in the same philosophy department of North Bengal University. Two girls, Dharmaputra and Duryodhana. Both the same professors taught them, same class. Same guru, correct? They belong to the same family, cousin brothers only. Relative same, same classroom, same lecture, exam also both got. Sometimes Duryodhana got more marks, but uh, Dharmaputra got less marks also. So marks doesn't matter, that's what the story of Mahabharata says. But assume that I am bad, the most saddest person in this world, if she is alive, my mother is not alive will be mothers, not father. Check at your house, who will be the most saddest person? Thinking about you all the time will be your mother, right? So who would have been the worst affected lady? Gandhari. Who is responsible for making Gandhari only made her son like this? Because always what will happen at home, if you do some small mistake, husband will scold her. Because of you, she he became like this, right? Correct or not? Now this cannot be told because father is blind. If father is blind, what mother should do? Support with open eyes. But this what this lady did is full love, blind love you call right? That's what the love word again, blind love from Gandhi. Some people have blind love. North East is very famous for that. So blind love, they got married. So what will happen to children? Both the parents are blind. They don't look after their children. So children will go and come company with the good fellows or wrong fellows. And where is the wrong place in this world of neighboring countries, which is the wrong world? That is where the whole Mahaparada war is not because of anybody. It is because of this person who had Hmm. The wrong habit of mixing with the wrong person. Is it ethical to have a wrong company? No. So where did he put his most best advisor? For Dharma Dutra, Krishna was the advisor. For Pandavas, Krishna was the advisor. For Kauravas was the advisor. Huh? Who is that? Where is Shakti from? Let us go to the Please, is he from Bharata? That's what my question. Eh? Kandahar. What is Kandahar? Afghanistan. Gandhar Naresh. Kandahar. Kandahar is in Afghanistan. So what Mahabharata says? Don't have company with Afghanistan people. <laughs> Very simple message. You can't trust them. What they will do? They will cheat you somehow. Do you agree or not? Don't agree? What is the pathetic situation in Afghanistan today? Even after the whole world is changing, Afghanistan is not able to change. Right? So I am not telling. This is what Mahabharata says. So Gandhari would have called us many times. Son and say, Beta, don't be like that. See your cousin brother. Don't you tell your parents will tell like this? Look at your neighbor, no. Look at your cousin brothers. So Gandhi would have called many times and said, Look at the Dharma Putra, how good boy is that? Why you are like this? You know what Duryodhana says? Jana Ami Dharma. You give me an examination, I will write a beautiful lecture on ethics, I can write a say. 100% I will get. But Najame Prabhupti, I am not able to do this. So what is the biggest problem? I know what should not be done. I know what is to be done, but I will do what should not be done, and I will not do what is to be done. That's the problem. Jnana dharma, nacha me pavarti. 
जानामे अधर्मो नजमे निवृत्ति वही केना अभी कामे न हृदिति देना यथा नियुक्तो से तथा करोगे माय गम माय स्पेस एंड फ्रॉम स्पेस टू पर्पस व्हाट इज स्पेस मींस गम व्हाट इज गम मींस मनस यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड मनस राइट हैव इट और गिव इट टू समबडी if you inside your gum there is so prefixed it is called as sukha you prefix do it is called as dukha so what is the biggest problem in this world sukha and dukha who is giving that eh uthare atmana 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 mavasa dhe atma iva khyatmana bandhu atma iva ripur atmana bhagavad gita says your enemy is you your friend is you your war is between you and you and that is conflict mahatma gandhi have you heard of this proverb called uh, mahatma gandhi to conflictology institute of physics einstein is a very famous physicist right so conflict contradictions between buddhi and manas to do or not to do that is the biggest problem and who is war war is within us and the whole Puran and Tivasa, the Indian tradition. Don't look at it between two different palaces, two different places. That's why same palace, same place, fighting it. And that is between in me and myself. That's why Krishna says, "Udhare, lift it up. Arjuna is inside me. Krishna is inside me. My Atma is my Krishna. Arjuna is my Manas, which vibrates." Atma will keep on saying, "Who will tell ourselves? I should not have had ice cream yesterday. Who will tell? Correct? Me myself will tell first. So it is my Krishna inside me who keeps dictating me. You should not have done this. So it's a big conflict inside us. In you look at the Vedic time, the Satya Yuga, then Treta Yuga, then Dwapara Yuga, then Kali Yuga. Right? If you look at this." In Satya Yuga, there was no conflict at all because people were the nature; they would have desire. Wherever desire is there, what is desire in Sanskrit is called Kama. The translations in many languages could be different, right? But Sanskrit it means Kama. Kama means desire. What is your Kama? Do you have any Kama? Yes. What is the Kama? What drives you here to sit in the class? There is a desire. So that desire drives you, and what is the outcome? Kama artha. Yeah, but you tell it a different spell. I will put in a different spell because everything starts with the desire, and the means of happening it is called the artha, and that has to be in the ethical fashion, dharmic way. So there is dharma and adharma. Sometimes our buddhi will tell buddhi. I don't use the word thinking and all that. Thought is a very Western term. We have two different things: buddhi and the manas. But Western people don't understand manas. Do they understand manas? Yeah. This is hardware, backup media, and this is software, RAM. Do <laughs> you understand it? Right? Okay. So in the RAM, I have got this knowledge. That is why without thinking, I am saying. If I have to download from here, what will happen? It takes some time. I have to think. Am I thinking? Now, do you think I am thinking to speak to you? No, I am not thinking. Where does it come from? It comes from the manas. And because it comes from the manas, I am able to take you to to your manas. You are not thinking. You are enjoying. You understand the difference? If it comes from the buddhi to buddhi, your manas will say, "Hey, is it?" But still, you will say, "What for?" Many reasons, right? So there is always, every moment of kama, the means of getting it happen. There is an ethical and illegal, non-ethical, not correct. The the terms can be slightly different. Wrong and right, true and false. Is it true? 
How do you know which is true? Do you think that the court, the judge gives verdict saying it is the truth? Verdict is given based on truth? No. I am LLB. So what happens in the legal front? There is no truth being. What is the facts? You understood the difference? Facts are visible, truth need not be. Truth cannot be seen. So where is ethics? Oh, when somebody gives, this is how it is. In my present knowledge, this is what it is. Correct. So when I get more knowledge, what will happen? It will keep changing. The time, space, place, action, who does, to whom, keep changing. If you look at either Aristotle or Plato or whoever you want, you will see these philosophies inbuilt inside, but stories could be different. Because the place is different, life is different, culture is different. And we have a great relationship in the mathematics, the first best theorem which we learned is in the Pythagoras theorem, right? Do you know who is Pythagoras? You know the relationship in the philosophy with the Pythagoras? Yes, number. Number. Not only that, I am asking philosophy, not number. Pythagoras, the right angle, triangle, etc, etc, some rules is there. Yes. But actually he has got a lot of relationship between the Plato, Aristotle, and the end is, these are all philosophers, and the end is a great man with a great war. When you look at the best, who is the greatest person who fought all of war, who wanted to conquer India, Yeah. And then who stopped him? Why you could not come to India and then fight? What stopped him? If not, read Kaurilya. Chanakya. What a great man. If you want to know what you should do is, I used to listen to his, there was one Guru Darshan. I used to download the whole thing and listen to many times to improve my Hindi. But I am not that great to understand that language used in the serial. What a great one. He says, when head is being cut, some small pain is the hand will come for support, right? So India is Akhanda India. The word used is Akhanda India. And when small pain is there in Kashmir, Banglas and Assam is and also Punjabi should go and support. India looks like India is looked like a human being, right? Himalayam Samarabhya, Yavak Hindu Sarovaram, Tam Deva Dramilam Desham, Hindustan and Tatakshari. India is such a place where created by God. So you cannot cut that into pieces. So who joined India? In our history book we learned, Britishers came, united India. No. Who is first, Britishers or uh, Chanakya? Yeah. You read Charaka and then read this history and say, hey, write it for examination. That's a different matter. But don't believe. You understood, you will see a lot of conflicts, contradictions. India war into small bits and pieces. But our body is into bits and pieces. I keep asking. Is this your pen? Yeah, this is mine. Is this your hand? Yes, this is my hand. Is there a way of telling difference? An outside object and my hand is inside my own body. This is outside, right? This is not part of my body. This is part of my body. But I will ask, this is my pen, this is my hand. No way of? The ownership is by me, correct? And who is that me who is owning my hand? Me. Where is that me? Who is that me, myself? You are conflicting and contradicting. I said, your buddhi will tell your manas, I should not have done it. After this lecture, I will say, oh, I should have told that point. Who is telling me? It's only me. Who is that me, who is telling me? Atma. Yeah. So, how I make myself not to conflict and contradict? 
were that soon after the lecture i will not tell myself oh i should not have told this oh i should have told this this keeps happening to all of us right yes, yes, yes. correct yes. why is it happening because your atma is not equal to manas atma is not equal to your buddhi suppose your atma and manas and buddhi become same it is called atmiya buddhi that's called atmiya that's called spirituality a spiritual person 